to you guys about what I believe needs to be stopped in the world today, and that is Japanese whale. Now, for an introduction, I have a quote from Anthony Douglas Williams. He once said that Earth was created for all of us, not just some of us. So the main point of this presentation is I'm going to try to persuade and give you information about why this is such a bad epidemic in Japan. So an overview, I will explain through the history of why they do it. Also, I'll explain how it affects the world through endangerment and world changes and damages, as well as the politics of Japan are affected. And on top of that, there are contradictions that they make to the case, and then there are the solutions to the problem. Now, for the history. This dates back all the way to the 9th century, where they decided to start hunting the whales. Now, there was a report from the oldest book in Japan that the first emperor, Jammu, actually ate whales. So it just shows how far back it actually goes to the beginning time of Japan. Now the food supply comes from... Oh, wait. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> For the food supply, um, during World War II, when we had the war, uh, Japan was actually very scared from food. They couldn't get out and get much fish, so they had to resort to whaling, which was an old factor, but they had to increase it. In 1947, 50% of their protein intake was, in fact, whale meat. So it just goes to show that they, at the time they needed it, but the war is over, there's no war going on, so why are they doing it? So one of the biggest issues with whaling is that it actually uh, makes them endangered. It, uh, many species from minke to sperm are becoming endangered because of things such as whales, not just the pollution in the ocean or the global warming for the ocean. It's actually just caused by human putting <coughs> So Greenpeace is an organization that tries to stop whaling and stop any kind of animal abuse in the world. So Greenpeace actually intercepted with whaling from Japan and tried to convince them to stop what they're doing to benefit the world. Now Paul Watson is actually captain of the Sea Shepherd. He was uh, featured on Animal Planet. He had his own show doing exactly what Greenpeace was doing, which was fighting Japanese whalers and whalers from other countries. And so he said that there's no place in the world for whaling and uh, such an abusive animal activity like this to go around. So, breakdown of the cycle for how it actually affects our world. Whale feces, one it is, actually gets carbon out of the air. Now the feces actually help reduce the pollution, and because of that, help with global warming. Now if you kill the whale, no more feces, no more pollution, affect global warming, then it will affect the climate, then it will affect us. So people don't take into account in the long run that this will actually affect humans way worse than it actually seems like. Just killing off a species doesn't seem so bad, but when reality it actually is. Now the politics behind it, the International Court of Justice stated that all of the things that uh, Japan was doing with whaling is actually against the law and is actually inhuman. So they even say, you need to stop, but they choose to not listen. They decided to stop for a year. Sure enough, they decided to go right back out, trying to follow ICJ's rules. <coughs> still, the today is still going the end. Um, it was also reported that five officials in the government were actually taking whale meat as rockets. So the reason that they could pass through all these organizations and stuff is because they got inside hands in the government just by bribing them with whale meat. Definitely disgusting. Now there's some contradiction to the case and why they still do it, and it's a little tricky, and it kind of gets very intricate with the politics and whatnot. But the Japanese officials said that they don't eat rabbits. Japanese people don't eat rabbits. So why would they go over to Britain and tell them to stop eating rabbits? Now, I get the point that we can't tell foreigners what they can and cannot eat, but at the same time, rabbits are not extinct, and rabbits don't endanger the entire world. And then from improvement from the past, they actually have improved. Um, from the 50% intake in 1947, they actually had narrowed down to 2016, each Japanese person had exactly one ounce of whale meat on average across Japan. So they're improving, but they're still killing the whales, they're still causing the problem. Now the solution, it takes time for something like this to come to an end. Now the Japanese officials and Japanese people in Japan will actually say that this is a dying industry, it's not good. However, it should be stopped now. They're still killing whales. They, uh, 15, 16 seasons, 333 minke whales were killed. 200 of them were pregnant. So even the reproduction, more than half were female, so they just keep killing the reproduction and it won't expand on their population. So it's a bad thing. And also, the money behind it, they're not making as much money as they used to, so that's why it kind of goes hand-in-hand with time, so eventually they will run out of money to even continue whaling. 
But the number one thing that anybody can do is to educate. You educate people around you, inform them what's going on, inform the dangers, and eventually they all absorb that and teach the younger generation, which will again just keep going down the line. So everybody will eventually learn something. Now for final thought, whales are just like people in different ways. They actually are uh, very, more, very much more important than they realize. Yes, they're the biggest mammals on Earth, but they serve a purpose and people don't understand that. So they deserve just the same respect as humans do on this planet. That's why I would like to try to see if I can persuade people to end this kind of devastating cause. Here are my references and add my social messages and the final thoughts. I personally want to end the whaling in Japan because that will help Japan with the politics or help the endangerment in the world and that concludes my lesson from the